one sari clad indian woman stood up and said i challenge you can any one of you come back and sit with us and that created a deep impression in our mind The monastic movement happened all over Europe, where there was a practice of teaching and preaching of the gospel. There was also the compulsion for them to look after the sick. And when they began to look after the sick, they had to create an antechamber, and they called that the hospice. And so people would be admitted to the hospice. And this hospice, after a while, became unmanageable. and so they became autonomous they began to be called hospitals and so this whole ecosystem was all developed and ready by the 11th century ad in europe and this whole ecosystem came to india with the advent of the missionaries the situation in india was such that women could not be even admitted in a hospital because admission meant that they had to stay overnight in the hospital and that was not allowed when they were pregnant they had to be looked after by dais and the dais were very illiterate some of the practices of the dais were very injurious they would cut the cord and they would put cow dung on the cord and that was the reason why neonatal tetanus was extremely rampant in the country so what she decided was that she will do an incentive system for the dais or the midwives call them to her uh, hospital here the base hospital we were called by the time dai hatha and uh, she would give incentives the ana paisa with a hole inside so she would give them some money and she would they would come and attend uh, her educative classes and when they went back to their villages she would give them a sterilized kit sterilization kit that means when they take deliveries they could use disinfectant solution they would give her a sterile blade so that the umbilical cord of the baby can be cut with a sterile blade and not unsterile blade so that itself brought down a lot of uh, deaths in the babies one of the reasons why christianity fueled the development of medical mission around the world is because of its foundation in the gospels there is the command to love your neighbor to look after the sick jesus spent more time healing people of the illnesses and so the theory and the practice that was founded by christ fueled the development of medical mission one uh, single woman in those days to come to a strange country strange people strange language she persevered you know that is what we should learn from her in her own handwriting they made the brown's handwriting there is this famous thing which says the master said come follow that was all <laughs>